Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. This is John with Tommy's Top Picks here to bring you your weekly flesh and blood market update. Uh, we have a little bit to go through. Uh, I thought it was going to be a quiet, dull drums week, summer lull, as it were, and, uh, and it was not. There was actually some interesting uh, movement in the market. Uh, so let's jump into it. This is why I thought it was going to be boring, because these unlimited boxes had not moved at all. And then we got down to the first edition, and boy, have they started to move. So, most notable, I thought, um, was this WTR box uh, coming down 12.5% after we saw already drop $899 to $4,000. So we're at $34.99 listed for WTR box on TCG Player. You can buy it at that price now, which is feels like a pretty good price um if we go back last time we were in this range you guys can't see this uh was in march the end of march right here i have a very wide monitor so for me it goes way off to the right um before that last time we were in that range and you'll note like it got below 3000 but it didn't stay there long so let's keep an eye on that spot because i think this will be indicative of uh, kind of the bottom, the historic bottom. We'll see how it holds up going forward. This is the exciting part. Um, if it continues to decline below that, sh I will be shocked, uh, but it's hard to say because this is TCG player listing data. It gets a little funky with these rarer products because um, you know they, they, they get listed and then pulled and listed and pulled as we've seen with the cases. Um, last time before that though was we got in the 3200 basically 3300 area was all the way back in January of this year. So uh, we don't have much precedent for these kind of low areas. This is definitely in the strike zone of some of the lowest we have on record. Now granted there have been lower periods if you go even further back uh, the big I guess crash if you will uh we got below 3000 but again it's just barely below 3000 and then you go back to september of 22 you're down at the 2800 um but basically since i've been tracking 3000 is the floor on this product let's see just making sure that's true yep yeah 3000 is the floor 2800 technically i think is the low i have all-time low that i have on record um, so the post-monarch bubble, that was the uh, popping. That was the low that happened. That's coming off the $10,000 boxes or whatever the heck it was going for uh, at its peak. Uh, I didn't get that because that was before I was tracking data. But so we are getting to that point where if this drops another 500 bucks, we are now in the striking distance of the all-time low. Is it worth it? Question mark. Big fat question mark because TCG player uh, doesn't post pictures most of the time and therefore this could be a box that someone literally sat on, kicked, threw across a room. You don't know what you're going to get, how good a quality it's going to be. I do suspect it will be a real product. It's just it's not going to be something you want to display on your shelf necessarily. So if you're buying it at this price, you should buy it with the intention of opening it. That's my thought um, because you don't know how good it's going to look when it gets to you. You could get lucky. It could be perfectly fine, you know, as fine as WTR is. Uh, remember, it had the issue with the seams uh, being holy sometimes, often actually. Um, there was the spine break that happened pretty much consistently across most of the boxes. So having one without a spine break is very, well, I think relatively rare. Um, what else is there? There's a couple, there's like a handful of like known flaws because it's the very first product. They were working out how to do this, right? So it's totally reasonable to have that, uh, which means a pristine box is even harder to find. Uh, so TCG player is probably not your place. You're going to want to go to discords and that sort of thing, but at these prices, it may end up being worth it if you want to play a really expensive lottery ticket. <laughs> now, if you do pull a cold foil out of it, you'll make your money back. Almost guaranteed. Not 100% guaranteed because there's some that aren't uh, $3,000, but a lot of them are getting up there. Uh, so it's a fun little gamble, uh, and this decline is something that's going to catch people's eye. I guarantee it. People will buy it. Um, second one, ARC. This one is worth talking about, and I actually pulled a tab up for this because I wanted to show show you as well. Uh, down 5.32% uh, to 17.99. Again, near its all-time lows. Um, let's see what I have here. I just wanted to go through this. 16.96 was in March. That was a rough patch for pretty much all fab products, I guess. Uh, yeah, early March was 14.50, so there's the low so far. Nah, we were down in the 12s before that in February. Yeah, no, we had $1,000 boxes for quite a while before that. I forgot about that. 
Yeah, okay. So we're not near the lows yet. Hold hold tight. Hold tight on the arc uh, if you're, you're worried about that. Unless you just like the product and want it. That's one thing. Um, I'm just going through real quick. Yeah, so that's $1,000 is the low on arc. That's kind of our target eyeball price. Like, ooh, if we get there, geez, that's a real discount. Um, I don't think we will because I think ARC is more popular than WTR, just to be honest. Um, but let's – oh, wait. Oh, okay, here we go. Um, let's see. So I wanted to show you this. Oh, no. It's off to the side. Let's see if I can – oh, no. I need to adjust my thing. It's going to be messy. I don't like it. Um, note, we did get a sale. At 2000 with images right so that's why it's sold for 2000 yet these I'm 90% sure have been listed uh, with that 2000 someone bought up into 2000 because it had images so you could see kind of how bad the quality was um, this is a fairly good one doesn't look like it has the spine break a little, little questionable on some of that uh, yeah some of that plastic is a little a little questionable um, yeah, you can see they're like these loose, loose uh, <laughs> plastic wrap happens. Uh, it was the early products, man. That's just how it went, right? Uh, so I did want to just point that all out to you guys. Uh, let's see if I can get this back so you can see stuff. There we go. All right. Um, so yeah, I wanted to point that out. Uh, these are declining. I do feel like this is summer doldrums. We get this. Uh, we do get weak markets. Um, I think this type of stuff is whale territory. And whales in August, they're in Europe or somewhere else doing vacation things and not buying. So I think the pressure is off on these sort of high-end products, and that's just how it's going to go. Uh, but moving on, uh, and I thought those two were particularly interesting. Moving on, crew, same sort of thing, uh, down 9.92% to 5.99. Uh, I'll just do a quick skim. We've definitely had lower recently even, so like there. Uh, so we're nowhere close to the bottom. Let me just see what I have. 300s. And it looks like that's the low that I have on record. Yeah, 300s, like 380, 375, 345. Yeah, that's the low. Yep. Yeah, 345 is the low I have on record, so we're far away from that. Not really worth paying too much attention to this. It is a nice little discount, um, but, you know, it's a non-draftable product, et cetera, et cetera. So I think we're okay. Uh, just keep an eye on this one uh, for now. And we'll take a look at the charts, see what they look like on the charts, too. Anyways, Everfest jumped 90, uh, 90, 9.9%, oh, 9%, yeah, to $60 from 55. Not a huge jump, especially since we recently saw a decline and 60, but, you know, it's a 9% jump, so talk about it. Outsiders got a 4.76% retracement, eh, not a big deal. We were in the 70s before. Um, it's just the middle of the range here. We'll look at the chart, but I don't think it'll be much to talk about. Uh, and then Tales of Aria is up 5.38%. Why? I don't know. Because it came down. Uh, whatever. It's still <laughs> below where it dropped to. Or, sorry, it's a dollar above where it dropped to from the 300 price range. It's Tales of Aria. We've talked about the dinosaur chart a lot. Everfest uh, down 5% uh, five, uh, 5 to 228 from 240 um, Yeah, nothing crazy there. That's actually pretty low for it. Uh, let's just look back real quick. Yeah, I don't see anything this low in a while. So if you've been looking to pick up Everfest, it's definitely a discount since what is this? Uh, since February. Lowest price since February. So, you know, it's a discount. I don't know. If you want Everfest, there you go. But there's plenty of it. So as far as a sealed product for collection purposes, eh, it's not really the thing to put on your shelf. Um, trust me i think a lot of people have a lot of it i know i have a lot of it uh so it's not this is not going to be rising in price as a as a collectible or a, a rare commodity anytime soon particularly because it's not draftable now it does have some good stuff in it and the ev is solid so if you're one of those that like to crack and sell the singles um then do the ev calculation like take a look and see what your probabilities are of getting the various things because there are some real fire cards in there and they're probably uh repressed or depressed right now because people aren't buying we're kind of between seasons um as the competitive season comes back you know those cards will be bought because everfest has a ton of very good cards that um do get used in decks um i think Staxwell. well Staxwell is the person who pointed out first that i heard it doesn't mean he was the first to point it out but that was the first time i heard it 
um, just thought that was worth noting. Oh yeah, and one other thing, uh, this WTR case is still here, so we're back in the point of having something there two weeks in a row. We'll see what happens going forward. Um, and then I do have uh, Bright Light. I don't really count this for anything because it's all pre-sale. It dropped 12%, big deal. Let's see what happens when we get to release. That'll be a while away though. All right, uh, for the cards, I did want to point out a few things. Um, the Marvels are in an interesting spot. Oh, weird. Oh, I see what happened. That's why I was having issues with the viewability. There we go. Oh, go ahead. There we go. Um, Marvels are in an interesting spot. Uh, it is one of those situations where we're seeing, you know, things like this continue to decline, the Levio one, right? But the um, the angels are bouncing. So let's just do an example here. You see, we hit our low, and then it says we're back up at this high of 110, but that's not actually accurate because we're below this price, this low price, um, for a, a buy right now situation, right? And that's a, you know, a real seller with 100% rating, blah, blah, blah. So, um I think we're getting to a doldrum with some of these. Uh, probably the less playable ones will decline relatively quickly because it's figured out enough that people are like, okay, these aren't the, the best. Um, obviously, some of the better ones, and I'm just assuming this is a really good one with the uh, Spectral Shield, uh, is going up. And it is actually, um, it's down right now, 129, 130, right? We're getting this doldrum period. Um, but generally speaking, actually, yeah, generally speaking, it's time to decline. Yeah, never mind. I was wrong. And that's all in the last few days. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's just on a decline. Okay. So hold off on all the angels is what I'm saying. That's what I'm doing personally. Uh, you know, not financial advice, but for me, uh, I'll, I'll just wait until people are bored of the angels. Um, yep. So I just wanted to point that out. All right. Let's jump into the charts. Let's see here. All right, we're on tail. So WTR. Oh, yeah, unlimited. Mm, do we even care? I'll go through real quick. I didn't actually look at these because there was no actual valid, like, price change or anything. You know, everything was flat. And that does appear to be the case. Interesting on crew. It does seem to be stabilizing above the bottom. So we had dead cat bounce. Um, oh, yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to say about the angels. We had a dead cat bounce. Uh, look for them to continue to decline. Generally speaking, I went through all of them earlier on my own, and that's what I saw, is that the majority of them were coming down. I thought the big one, the protection one, was holding up, but um, now that we just looked at those prices, I, it's obvious it's still on the down, uh, downfall too. So dead count bounce is a thing. Um, just hold your breath. Give it some time. It will settle down quietly. Uh, yeah, there's really nothing to report on these. Pretty, pretty standard fare here. Okay. Uh, yeah, first edition. This is where we're actually interested. Let's see what this looks like. Well, case is an interesting... Yeah, this divergence is huge. Look at that. Um, and then we're down here. Okay, so yeah, if we get this down, <laughs> down to this 3,000 range, we're definitely in the low zone. I mean, it's maybe set a price alert or something if you guys have one of those bots. Um, if you're really interested, again, realize you're cracking this. This is probably drop kicked across a warehouse, right? So... Um, don't get too, too excited for a pristine box, but if you want to crack it and play the lottery, that is, uh, that is the time to do it when it's at its all time low or long-term low. It's not all time, obviously. Um, arc, this one is interesting, but yeah, we can see we're still a ways off from the bottom. Uh, and that divergence is just huge between the, the case, obviously. I think that's going to continue to be the way because the cases are going to be really hard to come by, uh, going forward. Um, let's see here. Crew. Oops, sorry, I didn't scroll for you. Uh, massive divergence again, and way away from the recent low. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see this as that crazy. This is this is because of that silly spike. If it settles here, that's just normal business. This was an insane spike that shouldn't have happened. I don't know what caused it. I don't think anyone knows. And it's just settling back to its market price. Hell, if it settles above it, that's actually a win. Um, but even if it settles at this 500, it's fine. And as we saw in the historic, we're way off from the, the low lows of uh, crew. So crew's not really doing anything that's actually remarkable. It's just a, a resettling of the market based on that one spike. Um, so nothing, nothing crazy there. Monarch on a slow glide path down. 
glide pad down. There's so much of that on the market still, even after this dust till dawn uh, cracking frenzy. Um, I don't think it, it made a huge dent in the numbers on the market. Same with Tales of Aria, ton on the market. Uh, we are seeing a climb, which I like. So maybe this is a dead cat bounce and it continues down. I actually think that it will stabilize somewhere in this area because that's where it stabilized before this weird bump that we don't really know why. Uh, maybe Icelander and all of them bump we'll call it because they were winning stuff um that's a big question mark I'm, I'm guessing there total speculation and yep nothing too crazy similar when you talk about the box to case ratio everfest yep fell off a cliff pretty low prices uh again very high supply 2.0 staying pretty flat and boring as it should and six dollar arb opportunity again not worth it it's interesting these 2.0s maintain this arb opportunity for a long period but it's like only a few bucks so it's not really that big of a deal uh i wonder if that is a 2.0 product feature that we can say is just how it works um it is possible uh it's worth thinking about over over time as we get more data on this uh dust till dawn uh, falling back down again, so uh, you'll get your discount buys here soon. Nothing unusual there, right? You get your your uh, hype hype cycle, drop off and release, a little bit of a bounce, and then back down, and then it kind of settles into the doldrums, and that's what maps for. Anyways, I hope you guys are out there cracking packs, enjoying games, or touching grass, and swimming in the ocean, and hiking mountains. Do some stuff that's healthy and good for you. It's August. Like, go get a vacation. Go get away from the computer screen. Have some fun. Paint a model. Uh, paint, a, paint a painting. Paint a something. I don't know. Do, do what you enjoy to do. Bring peace to your life. Uh, when fall hits, it's going to get crazy again. When the next season of competitive hits, of course it will get crazy again. It always does. And we're looking forward to it here. But in the meantime, take a breath. Enjoy your summer while you have it. Because fall is coming. Until next time, have a good one.